As already promised in my initial video about Sally AI, I will today provide you with a node setup guide that you can run your Sally nodes in the background without having your computer on 24 seven. What again is Sally AI or what they are basically doing they are building AI bots for various use cases in a decentralized GPU cloud, which can then be easily integrated in every product and easily monetized by the creator. And they currently still have their node sale ongoing. We are still in tier one as I'm recording the second video here. But once this video will be published, probably on Saturday, they might already be in tier two or tier three. Currently, the nodes cost around 150, 155 US dollars, and you can buy them on Arbitrum or, for example, Solana. And if you add a code, in this case here, Zelly minus triple D, you will get an additional 5% discount on those nodes and don't have to buy it for the full amount. But that's just for the background information. Now let's get into the node setup guide. I will group this into three different phases. The first phase will be how you can set up your VPS or how you can basically get one. I, for example, already created a dedicated video for that, which you can watch, which I will now link in the top right corner. You can exactly follow those steps one by one. And what I can add here right away that you only need the cheapest VPS Contabo here in this case offering for five US dollars 50 a month. And if you purchase it for the full 12 month, there's not even a setup cost or anything additionally. What I should also mention here for phase one, if you, for example, already have a StarMake node running, you can already jump to step three because you can basically set up those nodes on the same server on the same graphic user interface we already used for StarMake. So let's move on to step two after you set up your VPS with my video guide in here because we do this again with the StarMake guide in here because I think that's a very good guide and we just want to navigate through those steps. I already recorded this one. That's why I will now show the recording to you and you can follow these steps one by one. I will of course provide all the necessary links for it down in the description box in this video as well. You should already have a VPS to start this guide and all the information which we need is in their white paper. Then you have to click on number four here for star key purchase and run star node and you click on running star node client. And once you're logged into your VPS, you just wanna split your screen. That's at least how I like to do it. And then you just navigate on the white paper again to point number four to running STA node client. Then you scroll all the way down until you get the setup Ubuntu server. And then what we want to do, we want to just copy line by line those codes over in our VPS. And we want to start with the update here in this case. And you always want to wait until you get another prompt where it says Ubuntu and is waiting for you to paste in another command. Here in this case, now it says it's done. So we're going to go for our next command. We want to copy it and paste it in over here. We click on enter. Here it says it needs some additional disk space. So we want to confirm it with a big Y for yes. We're going to click on enter again and we just wait again for the next prompt. Then once you get this colored screen, you just press enter over here and we should get our next prompt that you can create our sudo user. In this case, we want to copy this at user STA wax. So we're going to create a new user. Now it asks us for a password, which you want to generate. In this case, you just type in your preferred password. Then it asks you to type it in again. So we're going to do that. Then it wants to know the full name. In this case, we're just going to call this STA wax. Don't get confused later on room number. We get zero then work phone zero, home phone zero, and other also zero. This is not that important. Then it asks us if the information is correct. We're just going to confirm this with a big Y for yes and click on enter. And then we're going to copy next command, paste it in over here, click on enter again. And then we want to install the GUI, which is short for graphic user interface because we want to run our node through this user interface. So we want to copy this the light DM. Then it asks us again for additional disk space. We're going to confirm this with a Y. You know how it's working right now. Click on enter. And then we just wait again until the process is done, until we have 100% and it gives us the next prompt. Now we have that colored screen again. In this case, you don't want to just click enter. No, you'd want to go on the arrow down and choose light DM and then click on enter. Then colored screen again. You just want to click enter over here. And the next thing we want to do is we want to start our light DM. So you're just going to come back to the white paper, copy the next code line, and then we want to copy the final one for this step. 
and enter it again. Then it again asks us for additional disk space. So we just type in a big Y again for yes, click on enter. Then we are back at our colored screen. We type enter here in this case, and now we can install the remote desktop. So we scroll all the way down until we are at the remote desktop with XRDP. And we wanna install this very quick. So we again copy line by line, click on enter for the first one. Then once additional disk space, of course, we're gonna confirm that with a yes. We're gonna confirm the colored screen, copy our next line, paste it in, copy the next line, paste it in again. Then it says command may disrupt existing SSH connections, proceed with operation. We in this case say yes, we wanna proceed. And then we are done here and we can use the last command, which is the reboot. We click on enter. Then it says now remote site unexpectedly closed network connection because now we want to do the last few steps through our GUI. That's why you now have to open up the remote desktop on your computer. Every computer should have this. If you're Windows, Mac or Linux, that doesn't matter. So you just want to go to your search bar and look for remote desktop connection. It should look similar to this one. My PC is on German. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to paste in the IP address of your server, which you get from Contabo if you just look for your services and the IP address is the IP address of your server. And then you just type a double point. So this little piece in here. And then you just type in the server IP, which the white paper gives us here in this case. So 53579, which should then look like this. So first have the IP address, then the double point, and then 53579. And then you just click on connect, which is equal to the button you can see here. And now for the final third step, we just want to log into our VPS with the password we just created. So you just connect to this VPS here. And in the top right corner, there is a button which says activities. So you just want to click on this button, which should open the menu. And you just want to navigate to the browser. So you, in this case, want to choose the Firefox browser. And we want to hop over to the white paper of the Zelly nodes. Once the browser opened up, you just paste in the URL, you just click on enter, and then we are already at exactly the right point where we can download the software. In this case, we wanna take the Ubuntu version, so you just click on it and your browser will automatically start to download it. You just click on open the file, just make a double click, and then it should lead you over to the page where it asks you, how you want to open it. In our case, we want to open it with files and then it leads us over to our download folder. Then you can just make a double click again. If it doesn't open, you just want to make a right click, click on properties and you want to adjust the permissions in here. So you click on permissions and you want to tick the box here where it says allow executing file as program. Then you click on close this window, then you double click it again and then our node software should already open up. And then it asks you for your API key, which basically connects the wallet you purchased the nodes on with the VPS or basically the software here. So how you get this API key, you just minimize the window for your VPS and go to your usual browser. Then you just navigate to the window where you purchase the node. You just connect your wallet and you wanna click on get API key. And here in this case, it shows the API key. You just want to copy it. Then you go back to your VPS and then you just paste your API key in here. And last step is you click on activate node. And then you should already be able to see all the nodes you purchased, whether you did it on the Arbitrum network or on the Solana network. And then you just want to click on run the nodes on the top right corner. And around after an hour, you should already see your first earnings. And then you can come back, check it every day or every second day, click on refresh, and then you should see how your earnings add up here on the right. And that's basically already it. Then you can just log out from your VPS because it will run in the background. And once you want to connect again, you just open up the same window, type in the password, and then you should already see your running notes over here. That should already do it on a node setup guide for the Sally AI nodes. If you have any questions regarding all of that, best case would be to jump in our Telegram group or also in their official Telegram group if you have any specific questions about this process. If you like this overview, hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss future videos on such kind of topics, this is exactly the right channel for you. I release content on a daily basis. So you might just want to click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one.